Hello everybody, I'm Count Christo, and I made a thing. So, this is Black Ice, a mod which you hopefully know, because it's great fun, and uh, if you don't know what it is, I made a video called What is Black Ice? Go watch that. So, one of the things that's quite complicated in Black Ice is deploying divisions. Divisions have a lot of different types of equipment in them, so how do you know how much of each equipment to produce? Of course, the question you're really asking is how many factories should you put on each different type of equipment? Uh, well, fear not, because Christo has got a solution for you. This is I sound like an infomercial. I introduced to you... Oh, I don't, because I haven't got display capture on. There we go. I introduced to you Christo's Black Ice Equipment Calculator. So, let's say you want to produce an infantry division. More specifically, you want to produce this exact infantry division. What you do is you get your calculator. You put in all the different types of equipment, which I've already done for this one. You put in the number of each equipment, that, how many of each uh, of these items that you need. You put in the cost per item, and therefore you can keep easily calculate by multiplying those together, the cost per division. And then you work out how many factories you need. This is pretty simple. What you do is you just input a value for the cheapest equipment. I've sorted it by this column here. So you put in a value for the cheapest kind of equipment. Let's say it was one factory. Obviously, factories are only operate in integers, so you can only use integers for this value. And then you use this sum here, which takes... Uh, the v cost, obviously you want to round it up because uh, factories are integers. So you you want it to be rounded up to zero decimal places, which means we'll get integers. And then you take uh, this number and you times it by this number divided by this number. And that gives you the number of factories you will need on mortar teams. So we need mortar teams being more expensive than HQ equipment. Uh, but not twice as expensive, you put two factories, but more, not more than twice as expensive, you put two factories on it. Heavy machine gun teams being uh, slightly more than two times more expensive than HQ equipment gets three factories, and so on, all the way down to 38 on infantry equipment. Now this can be demonstrated more easily at higher values because of the rounding problems. So let's give it uh, five factories. Let's say you have five factories to put on HQ equipment. You're going to need 186 on infantry equipment. So let's test it in practice. So here is a set of factories, one on each of those different types of equipment, with the values that we have in the table at five uh, factories being our base point on division stack. Now let's say we want to deploy seven divisions. All being well, this division should fill up exactly evenly, or not quite exactly because of the rounding, but roughly evenly across the division. All of these things should reach full at the same time. And if we go to logistics and we look at our deficits, you'll see that that does indeed happen. Our shortage of towed pack will last 28 days. Our shortage of filter artillery will last 25 days. Artillery, 26. This, 26. This, 25 this, 27, this, 28, etc, etc, etc. And of course, because they're all going to gain um, production efficiency to this at the same rate and to the same level, assuming they all have full resources, you're going to finish at almost exactly the same time. As you can see, some of them do have problems like recon equipment. That's because of rounding that you get those little divergences, but it's very, very close. So if you want, you, you're, you could build this yourself extremely easily in Excel, it doesn't take very long, but if you want access to Christo's Black Ice Equipment Calculator, there is a Google Sheets in the description of this video which will give you it. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple, but I hope it helps you out. So it'll let you know if you have, you know, X factories, how many can I build? And I'm gonna, oh, that's more functionality, I should totally build in that extra functionality. I should have a value here where you say I have 100 military factories and then it tells you that would be really complicated. I think I'd just do it simple. I'll just do you know uh, something like this. Total factories. I can't spell by the way so excuse me if some of these are spelt wrong. And this can just equal the sum of these. Excuse me. Sum of these values here. Okay, so you know that this is what you should use if you have one one five, and then you just change your first value. Unfortunately, to produce this first infantry division perfectly efficiently, 
you need 128 factories. <laughs> so you're going to have to make compromises in the early game in terms of, uh, okay, actually, we're going to actually have one factory on HQ equipment, but let's pretend we have 0.5, not 0.05, just 0.5, and then you can do it with far less factories. So Germany, for example, begins with about 60, I think, something like that. So you could just pretend you have 0.5, on HQ equipment and then use the rest of these values and you could put that to whatever you ha need to make it make it work and it will calculate the rest of the values correctly note that these ones are being rounded up right now from quite small values um, but yes yeah, so if you this will this now I've added in this little bit of functionality so you see how many factories you have let's say you have uh, 60 so the target is 60 then you can just put whatever number you need to put in here in order to get as close to uh, 60 as possible. Something like, uh, something like this. There we go. So let's say you have 60 factories. What that means is you should put in, change this value until that equals the same number you have. And then you'll be able to put, that value will tell you how many factories you should put on everything else. So if you start off as Germany and all you want to produce is the first basic infantry equipment, uh, division, these are the number of factories you should assign to these pieces of equipment. If you wanted to change your division, of course, which you almost certainly will, you will need to update this list and update this list. Um, these ones will all still calculate out as normal. If you add a new type of equipment, you will need to add in new uh, stuff here, but it's very simple to do. If you drag it down, it won't work because it will refer to here and here rather than here and here. So if you want to add more, just drag it down and then drag those two values at the very top up. So it's referring to the right thing. So let's say you wanted to add, you know, tanks in here and you only needed one, but they cost a hundred. And there we go. Now this obviously needs dragging down as well. There you go. If you wanted to add one tank per division at cost of a hundred, then you would need three factories on that. So this uh, will be in a Google Sheets version of itself in the uh, comments and description of this video. If you want to use it, fe please feel free. Uh, if you edit it and you find some really cool new functionality you can add to it, please do do that and tell me because I'd love to know about it. And uh, I hope that helps you in your Black Ice campaigns. Enjoy.